Hello there, future scientists. I'm Professor Zumi, your rocket-crazy, always-in-a-hurry science guide. Look at these goggles. Safety first, right? Today, I'm inviting you on a journey where we'll take an ordinary soda bottle and turn it into something extraordinary. A flying rocket. By the end, you'll know how to build, launch, and improve your own bottle rocket like a true engineer. So tighten those seat belts. We're going to blast off into learning and fun. Here's the magic. Newton's third law of motion. Sir Isaac Newton wasn't just about falling apples. He figured out that for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So when the water shoots down out of the bottle, splash, the bottle reacts by zooming up into the sky. That's why rockets work, from bottle rockets in the park all the way to giant NASA rockets heading for the moon and Mars. Same science, just bigger engines. Okay, cadets, let's gather our rocket gear. First, one empty plastic soda bottle. The sturdier, the better. Next, some water, because water adds weight and pushes harder when it shoots out. Then you'll need a cork to seal it tight and a bike pump with a needle adapter to add air pressure. Want to make it stylish? Grab some cardboard or plastic for fins, plus tape and scissors. And don't forget a pointy nose cone. It helps cut through the air. Science and style. Now that's what I call rocket fashion. Here's where the engineering comes in. Fill your bottle about halfway with water. Too much and it'll be heavy. Too little and it won't push as hard. Add your fins on the sides. They work just like airplane wings, keeping your rocket flying straight instead of tumbling around like a silly spinning soda bottle. And a nose cone on top makes it aerodynamic. That's a big word for slicing through the air without a lot of drag. Think of a shark's fin or a bird's beak. Nature already figured it out. And now we're borrowing the idea for rockets. Time to get pumped. Place your rocket upside down on the launcher, meaning the bottle. Opening points to the ground. Stick that cork in nice and snug. Now hook up your pump and start filling it with air. Every pump adds pressure inside, just like blowing up a balloon. And guess what? The more pressure you build, the more power your rocket will have. But remember, Professor Zumi always says, pressure is power, but safety is super power. Always wear goggles and stand back when it's launch time. Countdown time. Five and four, three, two, one, blast off. The cork pops out, water shoots down, and the bottle zooms into the sky. You might get a little wet. Don't worry, that's part of the fun. Watch carefully. How high did it go? How straight did it fly? Scientists always observe their experiments. And you are the scientist here. And admit it, wasn't that awesome? Let's zoom in on the forces at work. Four invisible friends are pushing and pulling on your rocket. First is thrust. That's the push from the water blasting out. Second is gravity that pesky force always pulling us back down. Third is drag, the air slowing the rocket down as it climbs. And last is lift. If your fins are designed right, they help keep the rocket stable and balanced. The trick is to maximize thrust and minimize drag. That's how real rocket scientists design spacecraft to reach the stars. Now here's where you become the engineer. Try changing one thing at a time and see what happens. Add more water. Does it fly higher? Change the fin shapes. Does it fly straighter? 
make a pointy nose cone versus a flat one? What's different? Record your results, compare with friends, and see whose rocket goes the farthest. That's called experimenting. And every great invention in history came from testing, failing, adjusting, and trying again. Remember, in science, a failure is just a step toward success. And that's it, cadets. You are now bottle rocket engineers. We've learned about Newton's laws, pressure, forces, and design. Most importantly, we learned that science can be fun, messy, and amazing all at once. Now it's your turn. Build, test, and improve your rockets. And who knows? Maybe one day you will design the rocket that takes humans to Mars or beyond. Until then, Professor Zumi says, keep experimenting, keep asking questions, and never stop blasting off with science. Wow, cadets, you did it. You built, launched, and learned all about bottle rockets. Professor Zumi is giving you all a big rocket-powered high five. But the adventure doesn't stop here. Oh, no. Science is everywhere and there's always something new to explore. So if you had a blast today, don't forget to like this video, share it with your fellow explorers, and subscribe to Wonder Lab Kids for more amazing experiments and awesome adventures. Together, we'll keep learning, laughing, and launching into science, one experiment at a time. Until next time, Keep your goggles on and your curiosity sky high. Zoomy, out.